Thank you, General. Uh, the agreement with the Russians covers how much plutonium? Uh, 34 metric tons. Where is the 34 metric tons located? Uh, seven of those metric tons are at Savannah River now. Uh, the remainder is uh, primarily in storage at uh, Pantex uh, in, near Amarillo, Texas. So when you talk to Senator uh, Alexander about 13 tons at Savannah River, it's like six of it was not covered by the agreement. Is that That's correct? correct? Yes, sir. So what are we going to do with the material in Texas? Uh, the material in Texas would ultimately be slated for uh, uh, being turned into, uh, uh, being processed in a way that it could be uh, diluted uh, and then ultimately disposed of. Where is that going to be done at? Uh, we expect it would be done in Savannah River. Do you, do you require any legal changes to get it to the WHIP program? Uh, we do not require, we have statutory, sufficient statutory authority to dispose of all 13 metric tons that are currently That's in the That's not my River. question. Uh, and Does we would, the statutory authority cover the 21 tons in Texas? We expect that we would probably have to do uh, some work uh, on statutory authorities associated you with that. You expect probably, maybe? Probably. No, absolutely you absolutely. would. Absolutely. Good. Uh, do you have it's any a, agreement a, with the Russians to change course? Uh, we do not have an agreement with the Russians to change course, but there, as you know, there is a provision within the agreement to, uh, for the parties to... Where come. are we at in that agreement? Uh, as the Secretary has testified uh, just a week so ago... So what here, do the Russians say? Uh, the Russians are saying when you have a solid way forward... First of all, they have uh, the, the technical people I have talked with indicate an understanding of why we would want to do this and the technical aspects of it. Uh, basically, they've said... So when, what do the Russians want in return? Uh, when, they, uh, when you're ready to go forward. Uh, so let's see if I got this. We're going to change the entire program. Then we're going to go to the Russians and see if they're okay with it. Is that the plan? Uh, I, that is the plan. That's the plan. That's a lousy plan. That is absolutely the dumbest friggin' plan I could think of. To change course and hope the Russians would agree and not know what they're going to charge you for it. Now, other than that, things are going great. Now, in 2001, we made a decision about it, Mox, to, to reject the dual strategy. 2014 or 10, I guess it was, we signed an agreement with the Russians that we're going to mox out 34 metric tons. In 2016, we got a building, $5 billion worth, 90%, 70% complete, and we're going to stop and start all over again. Is that, is that the plan? Well, you know, we don't agree that it's... 70, well, 80, you can come and look done. at the damn thing. I have. Okay. Is it big? It is big. Well, it's cost $5 billion. I can promise you that. And I think it's 70%. What are we going to do with the building? We would have to see what, what we... Have you if talked we, to anybody it. from New Mexico about their view of taking all this material? As the Secretary told you last uh, week, he has, uh, he has informally approached members well, have of... You and okay, have so I personally, I have talked well, Excuse to, me. We've yeah, been formally yeah. talked to New Mexico. We now admit that you absolutely have to have a statutory change to cover the 21 metric tons. We're talking informally to the Russians. We're going to change the entire scope of the program and hope they agree with it. Is that pretty much where we're at? And we have no clue what we're going to do with this building. Thank you.